Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get a weathered look in your image. So previously, uh, we had looked at an older image that we had found on the Creative Commons section of Flickr. That image in particular was from 1910. And so what we're gonna do is we're sort of gonna reverse engineer that to actually create that effect, that really washed out effect that you have with older, older images on a brand new image. Uh, this was actually a user suggestion, so thank you to this user for uh, this video. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions at all, uh, please drop them in the comment section below for future content. Let's start by reducing the saturation of our starting image. I'll add a Vibrance Adjustment Layer and reduce just the saturation slider. I'm going to reduce it around 30. I think this is a healthy medium here. Next, what we're going to do is create a blank layer. This blank layer is pretty important. To create a blank layer, simply click the plus button from beneath the adjustment layers. We're going to use the fill bucket tool and select a greenish taupe color. If you want the specific color, use the custom tab from within the color picker itself and type this in the hex code field. A, B, AB79. I'll click OK. This is the color that I'm going to be supplanting over my image. We'll now navigate to the blend mode option for this filled layer and select pin light. I'll reduce the opacity to about a third. Next, we'll add a gradient map. The purpose of the gradient map will be to fill the shadows and highlights with specific colors. You can certainly play around with these, but I think gray for the shadows and cream for the highlights combined with a blend mode of multiply and reduced opacity will give the desired effect of creating an older looking image. From here, we need to blur our image. I don't really recommend using a traditional Gaussian blur Instead, I think an actual special effect is in order. So I'm going to duplicate my base layer. I always do this when I need to make a destructive filter adjustment. Destructive adjustments, like special effects, are always found on the left filter menu. We'll select special effects and select Dober. I'm going to apply this Dober adjustment at about a third opacity and with the default settings applied. So let's look at a start and finish and compare the two. Notice the difference between our original image and our final image. If you want to add white or black scratch marks on top of this image, what I might recommend is just simply adding another blank layer and then using the brush tool. However, I like mine as it is. Please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Uh, most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover in my next video. Take care.